On this new episode of the Decor Sunday, I wanted to talk about our chairs. On the new series that I'm doing, the decor video, I wanted to talk about our chairs. We have had this camper three years and they just started peeling. The uh, And the chairs are still great. They work great. We don't wanna have to buy new ones unless we had to. My first attempt at fixing this was to make head covers and that would have been great, but I made them a little too small. I didn't like how it pushed them down. I've been seeing where people got this slip cover and it's a couch slip cover and I think it's called the nine piece. I'll put on here what it is. I think it's called the nine piece slip cover and it matches our other couch exactly. So I thought today I would show you how this goes on this couch and uh, we'll look at and see how it goes on together. Now, this cover that I made, it had elastic on it and it would have been perfect, but like I said, I made it a little too small. So this is an option that you can do, is you can just make a cover for the headrest, but then I decided to try this other. They were on there good. I wanted to make sure they weren't gonna fall off and that they wouldn't have done that. All right, let's open this up and uh, see how we might can put this on here. One of the reasons that I didn't want to do a slip cover is because I didn't want it to cover this or the cup holders because we use those a lot. But supposedly this slip cover will let us cover the sections that I need to and not the sections and not the sections that I don't. I think I need to pull this out for this to work. this is going to be better. Hope I can get y'all at the right angle. Okay, so the center back of cover. So this is the center of the back piece. And then this is the center of the seat. I got that bottom piece on, and now let's put the back piece on. That was pretty easy. I just hooked it up underneath the bottom and the top back it seems to be holding. It has like these clips that you're supposed to put under a couch and hook them, but this is a recliner, so it won't work that way. So I'm gonna finish doing this and scoot it back and then we'll talk for a second. Now I'm gonna take you back here and show you one quick thing. Because I'm not using those clips and because they're recliners, there is a piece of Velcro that goes, and I hope you can see it right there. I'm just cutting that so that I can tuck this in. Hold on, I'm gonna put it this way so you can see. So that way I can tuck this in to that hole and it'll hold it. And it just hooks up under that lip. I'm gonna pull the other side to make it tight. Right. let me push this back because I don't think if you wanted to do the arms you could do the arms but all right now I'm worried about is the seats and I'm gonna keep the arms I'm gonna put them up but I like the fact that I can leave it just like this and I don't have to cover everything I want to get your husband to help you with this Right. 
that is all for today. I wanted to go ahead and get this on here because as always, I like to try to test out the product and let you know how it does over a little bit of a period of time. So I'm gonna let this stay on here several weeks and then I will come up and do the final video. Now, it has been several weeks and uh, if you can tell, all I have on is the backs. I put the backs on and I put the seats on and to start with, they would not stay on the bottoms. Like it was popping off as soon as Bill would sit down and it, Bill's like, I don't like this. I had some of these foam noodles that I had cut down for some other projects and stuff. So I took them and stuffed them down in between the back and the seat to help hold this down. And that seemed to help a good bit. It did stay more in place. I'm not gonna tell you that it held it perfect because it still slipped out. The reason Bill took it off is he did not like how it felt when he was sitting on it. It did not bother me at all. It felt fine. He just didn't like the feeling of it. He left the back one on and these were $69 to just use the top covers. I totally don't think that it's worth it. Now the difference between this and what I have here and what I have covered my couch is, it is all one piece and it just covers the whole couch. Well, with these, you couldn't do that because you have the cup holders and I wanted to still be able to use those and it has the, the storage. This here was a six piece. So it came with two tops, two bottoms and two arms. We, I wasn't gonna put the arms on it no matter what, just because it would mess up the cup holders. But I thought that we could use the back and the seat. Well, Bill has taken the seat off. He did, he does not like how it feels and he doesn't want it on there. So now I just have two backs. It is keeping the peeling vinyl from going everywhere, but it's kind of almost what I had before. The only thing is it does match our other couch. I would say this would work if you have a peeling couch and you don't want to replace it right away. I would buy this again for that. I really would rather the little cover that I make because eventually I know the bottom's gonna end up peeling too. But for right now, and when the bottom peels, we're gonna either, Bill's gonna have to leave the cover on it or we're gonna have to get a new couch. There's gonna be two options there. But for $69, it wasn't as nice as I thought it was gonna be. I really thought it was gonna be perfect and work great. And I'm not gonna tell you that the one on the couch, it doesn't stay real good. I do have a full size pool noodle stuffed in the back and that helps. They sent these little bitty foam things that you could put in there to help hold it. That does not work. The foam noodle works the best. It does keep it from pulling out. It, it'll get messed up a little bit, but I pretty much about once a day just kind of fix it, sort it, and keep on going. It doesn't bother me. And we only have this one side that we use because the other side keeps a blanket on it because that's where Aspen sleeps or Vail sleeps or whoever because I do not sit on this couch. I sit on the other couch. But I wanted to let you know the things that we have attempted to do to fix this problem with the peeling couch. Till next time, like and subscribe.